This was all we saw of the battle for Tripoli. But it came close. Into the dining room of the hotel, long abandoned, we stayed away from the windows for four long days. We scavenged what food we could from the hotel stores, sleeping and living for much of the day in our body armour, nervous of the pro Gaddafi guards roaming down below. Something seems to be happening down downstairs, we're not quite sure what it is. So we're all just getting ready. We prepared, fearing Gaddafi forces might come into the hotel, perhaps even use us as human shields. Lay on the floor. TV, TV, Sahafi, TV, Sahafi, TV, Sahafi, nothing else. Early this morning we scouted around the hotel. Many of Gaddafi's guards had vanished. Colonel Gaddafi still seemed to rule in this tiny patch of Tripoli. The guards truly believed his forces could take back the city. So began the negotiation. CNN's Jordanian producer was pivotal. The guard was confused. After four decades of Gaddafi rule, he refused to believe it was all over. So we ventured out. Not all of them had gone. Then finally, after five days of not knowing whether we would make it out, we did. Into our armoured vehicle, as the Red Cross swept in to carry the others out. Out through a city hidden from our view transformed in the five days since we'd last seen it. Then Gaddafi ruled. Now it's not certain who does. Matthew Price, BBC News, Tripoli.